Good to go. Uh, you know, uh, a, a time that really struck me was in the um, a significant uh, financial uh, crisis. Um, I, I don't know that I can pinpoint the year, but I remember the period where that was 2008 or, or what it was, where uh, the financial markets were in turmoil. And what struck me is that uh, a, a lot of people uh, were found uh, uh, guilty of charges against them uh, for, um, for falsehoods, uh, if you would. And people who were lawyers and financial advisors, the one thing that struck me was quite often the answer was, I knew it was wrong, mm -hmm. but I felt that I had to do it. Whether that was related to their income, their family, the pressures from the above. I think about it. I knew it was wrong but I felt I had to do it. And that's a, um, uh, a severe uh, setback. And we've seen the same thing just within recent years with the parents and others, uh, including college administrators who were involved in the uh, terrible situation of having a uh, students, uh, sons, daughters, others, and from very influential and successful families get into a college because payments were being made. And, uh, and now you, you, for the most part, hear and see the remorse of these people. And some of them even doing it without the awareness of their child, their son or their daughter. And you know, the most heartbreaking part of all of that is uh, if, if you can kind of project yourself into that uh, uh, time frame or that situation, a son or daughter uh, being uh, so dismayed and so disappointed in their parents who were trying to help but doing it in the wrong way. So I think it's, um, I think it's just uh, so important, it's so basic really. Most of us uh, know the difference between right or wrong. <laughs> the question becomes how you handle the decision of right or wrong, where you're in situations where you might be able to benefit or help somebody else benefit. Oh yeah.